Hundreds of laid off miners and construction workers in Minnesota's Iron Range are counting the days until their last unemployment check arrives and know they may have to take new jobs in other parts of the state or the U.S. At the same time, legislative leaders must decide on whether to hold a special session so that they can extend unemployment benefits and address other issues. Nearly 3,000 workers' benefits will expire before lawmakers can extend them when they return in early March. Governor Mark Dayton is set to meet with legislative leaders tomorrow in hopes of making a final decision. Most steel workers qualify for another federal program that requires new job training, but construction workers and other vendors don't. They're left with few options once their state unemployment ends. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.